Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and I wanted to do a bloom technique today following on from my previous video which was done on uh, one of these MDF plaques which are like this there. This is a 9 uh, nine by 12 inch and they're 6 mil thick and the previous one was done on just one of these little ones so quite a bit smaller and so I just wanted to do the same colours to, to match it. Um, and I've taped my back, keep it all nice and clean. And I've put these little duct tape tabs on. So it helps when I come to do the tipping. And I'm standing it on my yoghurt pots. Now, when I did, <laughs> I did a, a flip cup and I stood it on these yoghurt pots and I tipped. I flipped my cup over, I nearly lost the whole lot because it actually did tip. So I'm going to be extra careful today with this one. So I'm not going to go through my whole recipe today. Safe to say it's really, really easy, simple products that everybody can get hold of. Um, I'm just, because that was in my previous video. So if you want to see the recipe, take a look at that and it explains everything that I do. Um, and it works a treat. So I've just painted this one with some runoff paint to stop. Um, so I, I didn't want to throw it away as it runs off. So I've painted this one just to give it a, a base. Because um, I didn't want to waste the paints really. So because I've got my little duct tape tabs on. I'm struggling to find something that this is going to sit nicely on. I really hope... That I'm not going to have a little mishap here. So I'm not using the um, usual emulsion paint. I'm using Montmartre black acrylic paint. Um, and I've mixed it quite thick. So I'm putting that on there first. And I'm just using all the same colours as I used in my previous video. Because I, I want this one to match that one. So I'm putting my base on and because this isn't the emulsion I can give it a torch because with the emulsion you can't really torch it because it burns it and forms a skin which is not what we want. Um, so it, there's another reason to use this, it's quite good, there's a big bubble there so I'm just going to, or something in it maybe, I think it's something in it. There. So there's my base on. Now my colours are they're all Montmartre colours. So we're going with purple, magenta, and lemon yellow. So all lovely colours and they work really well together. And these are the big Montmartre, the two litre containers. And I absolutely love them. I've only recently bought them and started using them. But I really do like the colours. So I'm going to put a fair bit on here because this is a fairy size board. So I'll just tip that on there. And then the magenta. And the yellow. Beautiful lemon yellow. These colours really do work nicely together. So then I'm going to... I'll give that a torch first. my cell activator on and my cell activator is the oxide black Amsterdam oxide black and the Australian flood floatron and I should just put that down the center like that just 
not quite level on here, so it's sort of running towards the side. So I'll just bring that around so I don't want to be losing it all. That's not very stable on there. <laughs> so I'm going to blow it out with my little blower, which I love. I'll just take that nozzle off. And then I'm going to not blow it quite down because this isn't as thick as the um, emulsion paint. So I'm going to blow it. I'm going to find where it's blowing and then I'm going to start blowing it outwards. So excuse the noise. But what I do is see where it's blowing to and then start tilting it to one side. And then the other way. Just going to put a bit more just here. Oh, there's wrong paint. That one. And a bit over here as well. I'm going to be losing all my black in a minute. It's all tipping that way. Let's pull that back across. A wee bit like that. And I'll just put a little bit here as well, actually. And then blow that out as well. A very good job of that have I? I might put some more on there and go again with that. So what I'm just going to do is get one of these sticks, scoop that up and put it on that end. I'm going to put some more on there because I'm not happy with that centre. So you can always add more. And just do the same thing again. Find where it's blowing. And then tilt it out. And just let that stand and see see what it's going to do. It's got to lift up from that centre. So while that's doing that, I'll just drag this paint across and spread it out that edge a little bit. Just to help with the flow. Help it when it's we start tilting. with this bit. I'm going to do that little bit again while we're waiting for that centre to come back up. Just put a bit on there and blow that out. I 
don't want to blow too hard on this part because I didn't want it to go too far over the other side. So I'm just going to come in with my little turkey baster and blow that across. If you just blow down into it, you'll see how those colours pop through. there as well. So if there's any bits that you're not happy with when you first do your blow, you can always add to it. just think these colours just work so lovely together. See that part there is still a bit low where, it, where I blew down into it so we've got to wait for that to come back up again. I don't think we're going to get any more lace in here now but that's all right. You see how this part here is just a bit low. Just tilt it to the light. You might be able to see where that's just a little bit low there. So if we just take it from side to side, it'll just help it loosen up from that bit there. But it is a patience game. I'm just going to let that sit for a little while and then I'll come back and we'll try and move it. So I've given that a couple of minutes and it's still a little bit down in that centre but we'll see if we can get some movement from it. Should be all right. I'll just give it a little bit more of a jiggle. You see how it's stuck there. Just keep moving it. It will start to release itself from the center. Just move these out of the way. off the edge and bring it back, back to the centre, then off that, just off that end there. I, I'm quite happy to keep some black actually, so I might not take it right off there, take it back down that way. Not happy with this centre part. I don't. I didn't do very well with that with the blow. Then bring it back. It looks so vibrant, doesn't it? Those colours are just beautiful. And just take it off that edge there. And back again. I just want to take a bit off here. And back. Now I don't like that centre. I 
So what I'm going to do, <laughs> if I can do it with, <laughs> without it falling off my little pots there. It's a bit wobbly. So I'm just going to add a little bit more colour in there. Just a little bit. Just going to go the purple. And the pink. And then the yellow. We can always do bits if we're not happy with a part of it. We can always change it a bit. And then the black cell activator. We need a little bit. I'm not going to blow it with my blow. I'm going to blow it with my turkey baster this time. Because I don't want to spoil what's around it. Oh, I'll give it a little torch. Put a little bit more cell activator on there. Just there. Ooh, I don't want to knock it over. <laughs> And a little bit. I'm always splaffing, aren't I? <laughs> a little bit. Just there. These turkey basters are brilliant if you just want to do little bits like this. There. And we'll just let that come up a little bit because it's just down a little bit there. And then we'll give that a little tilt. Hold on to those tabs underneath. Back again. then to that side a little bit. There. Back on these little pots carefully. There. And we'll give it a quick torch. A 
and I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here's the close-up. I've turned my overhead light off and put my side light on, so hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better. Still got the shadows on there, but let's try and turn it that way. How gorgeous are those colours? They look absolutely beautiful. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the like button and also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out new videos. Look at those lovely cells that's come up, how beautiful the colours are. So you can use any base colour, if you use the acrylic paints and I'll link my um, video below from how I did this recipe because it really does work really really well look how gorgeous that is look so I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.